part two. Now when we last left off, we were about to make the candle for our candlestick we had finished. And now we we're going to build the candle. Open up SolidWorks, as you normally would. And we're going to create a new part. Click OK. And go to Revolved Boss Base. Click the front plane. Now click Line. Create a line up. Perpendicular to the origin. And the smaller line to the perpendicular with that line. Escape. And now create a tangent arc from the point you left and from the point out. Then bring one down, bring the straight line down. And a line across and one into the base. Oh. Any errors, just delete like I did there. And finish it. Now click escape and we'll dimension it. First things first, oh, make the outer. This is going to be 380 millimeters. Click enter. And now for this, to get the angle of each side, this will be there to there is 15. This top is 4. And then for this, there to there, that's 15 degrees. And now the base is good. And so we go to the top. Now for this, it has a radius of 35. Now if, now if that doesn't work, undo, delete the radii, the dimension, and delete the tangent arc. We'll try a three point arc. Now go to the same two points. here. Escape for there. Because we're going to dimension the rest of the bottom. <laughs> With that being 25. Like so. Still have the 15.
and then exit out Delete the two vertical relations. She undo that. Leave the relations. And now do the tangent arc. Now if that happens, undo and delete. Try again. Okay, so now we, it's not working, so we'll go to three-point arc. That's the thing to remember. If anything never works, I'll just try a different mode and get and try then. Now set the radius to 35. And now we're going to add a relation between there and there. Oh. Cancel out. There. There. Now that we've gotten it to adjust right so it looks proper, we're good. We can click OK and exit sketch. Now select the inner axis and click OK and you got your candle. Now we gotta create the, the wick, which is easy, by going to sketch, click and sketch, select it in the top inner circle, and basically we're gonna just create a circle. Round so, exit out, exit sketch, And then on the front plane, set it normal too so you can see properly. We're going to go to sketch again and create a spline. Go from the top there. Actually, no, we'll do an arc. So just a standard three point arc again from the top. Set the angle to 90, exit out, smart dimension, let's set the radius to 20, and now click, exit out, exit sketch, and now we can create our work. So go to swept boss base, for the profile, select the top, for the path, select your sketch, and then click OK. Now for appearance, we can change the colors just to make it look more like a proper candle. Um, 
So let's just delete it. Never mind that. We'll save it as Candle. And your last name. Now minimize. And then go to then go to new assembly click OK. Now select your candle and place it in. Now go to insert components browse Select your candle from yesterday and place it in. Now we're going to mate. So select the bottom face of your candle and put in the candlestick holder. That's going to be a coincident mate, like so. Click OK. Now select the lower portion of the revolve made it to the shell. Click OK. Now you may have noticed the top part of the candle does not look proper. We can edit that. Do so by going into candlestick, edit part, we'll save it quick. Candlestick handle underscore assembly and then your last name now we're gonna edit it real quick by going into candle editing it then going into the sweep and selecting sketch 2 We'll edit the sketch in Smart Dimension. Radius of it to be half of that, which is 4. Now click OK. Exit Sketch. And that looks much better. Now deselect Edit Component and save it. Save all. Now in the packet there is a outlet plate edit we have been able to make though it has been unfound. Oh yeah, we gotta make a design table for this. <laughs> so now open up your candle again. I'm gonna add the design table. Actually, we can go into the assembly. So open your candle assembly. I'm going to add a design table by going to insert tables design table. I'll be blank. And then deselect our normal seats. <laughs> now on the side in the candlestick we're going to turn on the all annotations Alright, so we do want to do it in 
our candle. So open up your candle again. Show feature dimensions. Like so. Now, seeing we just want to edit the height, we're going to go into Insert Table Design Table again. Blank, block at, and then deselect the two. So now just select the 380, and then go to and then add the name for like so now we're going to change it to 350 300 and 250 click enter, deselect select <laughs> like so click escape if it's not just by not clicking never mind